Hello and a very warm welcome. After months of waiting, Formula One is back. Testing officially starts tomorrow. Set your alarm clock, 7 o'clock. Eight hours of testing, three days. Only three days. I believe last year it was six. It takes place at Bahrain International. And then a week's time, we go racing. This is where the teams need data, mileage and no problems. Yeah, Lance Stroll will miss testing. Felipe Drogovic will come in for him. That's a big blow for Lance Stroll. Is he going to be back in time for the season? Getting a training accident. We've seen this in the past. Alonso had a training accident one time, but testing is important. Yes, it's not very entertaining, as, of course, we know what happens um, in testing. Eight hours of running, but people in the garage a long time. It's only three days, so you've got to get out there. You've got to run, run, run with no issues, no problems. Get as many miles, laps in as possible without any issues. If you have issues, that could take a whole day to fix, and that's one of your days gone. Testing is important to rack up the mileage. If you're going to have problems, it's probably a good time to have them now rather than in a race weekend. But for drivers like Piastri at McLaren, this is critical for him. You, As a driver, you're only getting one and a half days. One and a half days each makes up three. So yeah, key for Piastri to get mileage in in that McLaren. Key for Logan Sargent to get that mileage in in Williams and Nick De Vries in the Alpha Tauri. They're the three rookies, so more important for them, I would say. Also for new men going to new teams, such as Gasly, uh, Alpine, Alonso, drivers like this. Um, yeah, it's exciting though, because it, it's only around the corner now. We've got three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, testing. Um, yeah. And everyone gets carried away with testing. They see, I don't know if you see Alonso at the top, everyone's like, oh, Aston Martin are in. T times mean nothing in testing. More importantly, during testing, it's how many laps you've done. So Alonso could be top with two laps, but if Hamilton's third with 204 laps, then I'd be more happy with Hamilton's progress. It's going to be interesting, it's exciting, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8 hours, basically 24 hours of testing, and then we're jumping in the deep end as we go for the first race. Testing's at Bahrain, race 1's at Bahrain, usually testing takes place at Barcelona, but yeah, it's exciting, F1 is slowly back, we've had the car launches, oh, that's all PR and a load of shit really. We saw some nice cars, we saw some rinse repeats, now we get into testing, three days of action, and then is when the real business starts in a week's time, when we go practice one, two, three, qualifying in the race. Wow. And I'm quite motivated again now, because now the videos start to come back. Um, you've had a long time off over Christmas, January, you can't really cover F1 because it's not on been covering United videos but now it starts again it will go again this season 2023 season yeah uh, we do a preview we do practice reactions qualifying reactions race reactions driver ratings yeah I'm excited um, yeah wow so tomorrow testing begins we will have a testing reaction every single day so I think it finishes 7 11 i think it finishes four o'clock in the uk testing so we'll have a testing reaction every day then we've got some predictions coming for the season a yuki sonoda video then we'll be jumping into the preview for the first race so exciting times adios